Unsurprisingly, at a tech conference, artificial intelligence looms large. Here at Huawei Connect in Shanghai, the power of AI to transform industries is both evident and seemingly pretty limitless. Innovative solutions for every vertical that you can think of. But AI brings challenges for industries as well. Take Dataset, a Southeast Asian-based company specializing in media intelligence and analysis. How have AI advances disrupted their industry? A question I put to the company's CTO, Amian Krizna. We have our basic services, our platform, our basic reports. And you know what happens is when we put on the AI layer, that enables all our analysts, our staff to actually go up a level. So AI will be doing all their uh, basic work, all their um, what we call mundane reports. The repetitive tasks. Right. Our humans, our analysts, can add on that sort of you know, creative, intuitive layer into that. So actually clients get better stuff and they actually get it faster because, you know, all this Monday work is done by, you know, AI. So this idea of it being a threat, you would say it's not true. It actually allows you to enhance the service that you can offer. Correct. It enables a scale, enables our team to uh, level up, to be actually be more creative on what to do. In turn, the clients win because they get better insights, they get, you know, like better analysis. It enables us to um, scale our services. Now, you're working closely with Huawei Cloud. Yeah. What are the sort of solutions and services that they're offering and that are helping you in your industry? Right. So we've been with Huawei Cloud since uh, end, early 2020. Mm -hmm. So uh, currently, we have a platform which is basically um, almost as everything is on their cloud. I think scale is one of the most important things that, you know, in a business because, you know, as a, as a relatively new company. So uh, data set, just, you know, just a little bit back, they uh, were founded in 2019. Right. So, you know, obviously we have to, you know, scale up a lot faster. We have to make a footprint a lot wider. You know, going to cloud at that time and currently um, where we're moving now helps us to you know, scale our platform and our services a lot faster than we would have done if we're, if we're still using, you know, the basic, you know, colocation, you know, hardware. So you're effectively tapping into that expertise that's available, those infrastructures that are available. Correct. The infrastructure, the expertise, the service layers, tools that actually enable us to the scale that we are required of. Now, you're, I think, halfway through building a serverless social media yes. analysis platform. Yes. Tell me why it's important for you to, to have that as yeah. a, as a um, service right. and the sort of challenges you faced. Why we did the first place, uh, two things, scale and cost. Right. Just to go into our service a little bit. So we, are, we, uh, we have an NLP model that analyzes for Southeast Asia. Right. Thai, Bas Indonesia, Bas Malay. We actually have to hit those services quite frequently. Of course, every time a post comes in, we have to um, tag and automate that data to enable it to make sense to our clients. Right. The service architecture, you know, actually helps us, you know, achieve that more faster. Every time there's, you know, a new service, we don't have to build a new you know, virtual machine, install it, you know, configure it. You know, with the serverless, it can, you know, it can go straight from, you know, straight from day one. So I think that's basically the benefits. Mm -hmm. The uh, challenges uh, would be basically um, fine-tuning our current uh, software model to actually fit those services. Luckily, we've done it very early on, since 2020, so it wasn't that painful actually migrating there. Yeah. But there, you know, there were still you know, training levels, getting the right people in, enrolling our people in uh, significant training models. But I think Huawei's been very good at that, so they have all these training programs that when we hire someone, they can just go straight to the survey program, you know, it's done. So is it a constant adaptation, a constant flexibility that's required for, I guess, yeah. all industries yeah. now? it is. The technology is moving so fast. AI is moving faster. I mean, every year there's something different. All the models we have to build, all the develop, you know, we have to, you know, we have to be there. With uh, that kind of setup, enable us to scale, build, and, you know, deploy, you know, a lot faster. And then finally, we're here at Huawei Connect in yeah. Shanghai. Yeah. What is next for your technological partnership with a company such as Huawei? Well, basically, we have um, in the works a few advanced AI models, right. MP models uh, that are currently in our, our new department. So we're looking to explore, you know, what kind of that, you know, Huawei can, you know, like support, like how can we take advantage of their you know, GPUs to actually make our services, um, you know, faster, you know, the clients. There's a lot of things before I'm here to see. Can, what's you know, looming, what's, yeah, what's looming on the horizon? horizon. Yeah. And, you know, how we can just get there faster because it's a, it's a constant, um, I won't say battle, but challenge, you know, just to, every year there's something new, 
our customers want something different, so we just have to push the envelope every year. There's an element of if you stand still, you go backwards in this industry. You've always got to be looking out for the next innovation. Exactly. If there's a technology or service, if if you're winner, somebody else will. Yeah. So we have to constantly be, you know, uh, I won't say one step, like five steps ahead, and that's where the challenge lies.